Hello, my name is Gaurav and you are watching the channel Udjial means share. So today we'll discuss some important topics like have you given a go or no go decision anytime? Right in the end of the sprint, the manager will ask you and you must have given that decision and uh, whether you should give it or not, we'll uh, see in this video. And after your testing, are there any bugs in you at and production or you give a uh, such a good product that uh, you don't face any bugs in you at our production and even if it comes what's your reaction so let's see what testers have said about it and that can really help you it's enlightening so it would be a small video let's begin so we'll discuss that what is proof for testers so there is no word like that proof for testers so i thought that uh, it is doing justice Okay, so yeah, you have to realize that testers, just like normal human beings, they uh, do mis make mistakes. Okay, uh, don't beat yourself over a bug in production. Yeah, chances are there that uh, you can miss a bug and it can come in new at end production. So the better thing would be to do a root cause analysis, why it came, how come it got missed, right? It can be missed in unit testing as well. So not to blame developer that why they missed mits in unit testing but like it should not be repeated right and avoid the habit of making the same mistakes so right here it's written same mistake like if you are given a task and you are doing the same mistake so that is not uh, acceptable right and if there is a bug and that was a clear requirement right uh, in that case you should not have missed it and you can accept it right if there is a problem it, there is no problem in accepting that and then and we have to realize that like we are not super humans, even if I give you say to test a product and give you uh, 100 days to test it, right? It's not that you will find all the problems in that. It's okay to fail. Recently, I participated in a hackathon where people have submitted around 2100 bucks. You know, it's a huge number, right? And even within my team, when I was looking at the bugs that my peers have raised, Right. I was not thinking around those areas and the bugs I was raising, there were different areas. Right. So we do improve with time. Right. So it's okay to make mistakes, but don't repeat them. Have a learning from them and try to avoid the basic ones so that when you're focused, you can avoid those things. And last but not the least, where we started that uh, whether you should give a go or no go decision. So most of the experienced testers, you will say, so this is a very good quote that testers are headlight of a vehicle, right? So headlights will tell you uh, what is ahead, right? Whether to move ahead or not is the decision that driver has to take. If I consider vehicle as a release, so driver is the person who will decide whether the release should go or not. As a tester, you can inform people, you can tell that, that this is the situation. You are telling, right? Uh, uh, recently, I read from Michael Bolton, like he said that uh, testers don't break the software. They tell where it's broken, right? So being a tester, you can tell that where there are problems, both holes on this road, right? But you are not the authority to tell whether the car should go ahead or not. That is with the management. So hope you got the answers and you can comment below and you can also subscribe to my channel.